to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We have arrived. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. We have arrived. This is close land. Nobody see cars. <laughs> we have arrived, y'all, to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We are here. Y'all, this is day two of our vacation. And we're going to spend today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh, y'all, yeah, I'm sorry. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to our channel. <laughs> we're about to get in here and see what we can get into. So we're just inviting you all to join us today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We got to pay our toes to have some fun. We actually got down here on Tuesday? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Yeah. <coughs> we got down here on Tuesday night. Yesterday, we spent the day at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And today, we're spending the day at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And as y'all remember, I met my idol, Doc McStuffins. Yes. Let's us not forget. Yes, let's us not forget. We're about to be inside the park. We are officially inside the park now. Animal Kingdom is mostly focused on animals and jungle things. On a hot day, that'll be good. That's okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Is that place to go to in it right over here? I don't know. Yeah. It's a bad river. Oh. <laughs> we got one place that we like to eat at when we come here. We got to watch our previous videos. You would have seen it. Our previous Animal Kingdom videos. But we'll show it to you again today. Expedition of Mount, Mount Everest. Everest. Yeah. It's a roller coaster ride. Y'all know I don't do roller coasters. And she was in the front. She, they put her in the front. Let me tell you, it was a sight to see. That's all I'm saying. And the sight that she didn't see because her eyes were closed. <laughs> did you open your eyes no. when you was at the top with the no, see she the didn't. track? I, I tried to get her to open her eyes and she didn't see the That's track. Totally that's totally you probably look at the main thing. No, I, I'm less scared when I can't see what's happening. We want to know what was at a stop. 
It's worse when you can't see what's happening. I want to know why we stopping. Because you would open your eyes, you would show why we stop. <laughs> if you would open your eyes, like you would show the tracks you broke. Yeah. And that probably what gave me a heart attack. <laughs> if I would have saw that the tracks that I was riding on were broken, I probably would have died right then, there. If you saw the tracks were broken, you would have known why we were going backwards. Yeah, we were going backwards. We were going backwards because the tracks were broken. And did you see the gorilla? I ain't see no gorilla. She didn't see the good part. You she missed, missed all, all the good part. Ain't seen nothing. But the, the, the whole point but, but, of the ride. But the back of my eyelids. The whole point of the ride is scenery. You didn't see the drop. Nope. Dang, what what drop? See? All of them. No. No. Mm -mm. She tracks, is pitiful. The tracks was like, mm. and then the, the, there was the abominable snowman, and you can see where he ripped up the track. And then that's when we were going backwards again because he had ripped up some more traps, so we couldn't go forward no more. Mm -mm. I love I how see. she's just shaking her head at you, like, <laughs> not having it. Yeah, I ain't seen none of that. <laughs> the eyes are closed. I ain't seen none of that. The tracks is looking like this, mm -hmm. and then nope. the Yeti was like, ooh. And then <laughs> he went, <laughs> No, I ain't seen none of that. My eyes were closed the whole time. That's why we went backwards twice, cause I fell backwards one time. Ain't no backwards twice. There was backwards twice, Mama. Uh -huh. mm -mm. That's why we stopped the first time we went backwards, and then we stopped another time we went backwards again. Oh. And then we started to go forwards. We went backwards twice and we went forwards twice. But you missed all of it because your eyes were closed. <laughs> you can go ride it again. <laughs> I'm sitting right here and they are trying to find my head. I feel like I left this part of my head up there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting right here trying to find my head. <laughs> I can see it. It feels heavy. It feels so heavy right here when I got off. <laughs> my head feels so heavy. You know why? Because your eyes were closed. Your, closed. <laughs> your head wouldn't be hurting if your eyes weren't closed. Because you would have known why. Where your head was. You can't find your head because your eyes were closed. The whole point is, you ain't supposed to close your dad's little eyes. <laughs> I closed my eyes as soon as I got in that seat and pulled this thing down. No. My you, eyes were no, closed. No, you won't. You're lying. Why? Because you saw, you saw the track, you took that little dip, and then you closed your eyes. Okay, you're right. You are correct. You had a little dip, and you closed yeah, your eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because I had my eyes open when we stopped moving. And that was less than 30 seconds after we got right. on the ride. Right, but then it went closed. After 10 seconds of being on the ride, you felt a little bit, and you're like, nah, I'm going to Like, that, that, that little dip was enough for me. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so, that basically sums up my ride. Bye.
space and have your phone and camera ready to go. These three that have just joined us, their names are Dillinger, Stitch, and Robinson. Here we go. Here we find all over the place. It might be right over the top of your head. Just like that. So really great fun opportunity here. It's okay. I'm working on that. My name is Mary I'm here with Caitlin. Right here with Taylor. And in the crowd we have Keegan and Kayla. And then Dillinger, Stitch, and Robinson. Three out of about 100 birds that we get to work with every single day. And shout it out if you know, what kind of birds are these three? Macaw! Yeah, I heard lots of right answers. I heard parrot, that's correct. And I heard macaw, that's also correct. These three are the same species of parrot. They are blue-throated macaws. A really special species, actually. There's fewer than 300 of them in the wild where they live in Bolivia. So to see three of them right up close is a pretty special treat for you guys. And you can get nice and close all the way up to the fence if you want to see them in action over there. Now they can go wherever they want to. Uh, we build relationships with our birds using positive reinforcement. It's also how we train them. So flying around is a natural behavior that macaws do. But knowing where to go is something they've learned through that positive reinforcement. So you'll see us passing out all of their favorite treats. We don't speak their language, they don't speak ours, but we do know their favorite snacks. And that's how we say thank you for choosing to come here and see all of you. So definitely keep your phone and camera up and ready to go. Now, parrots seem pretty calm, and especially at places like this, but some people even choose to have them in their house as a pet. Maybe you've heard of that before. But we're here to tell you that enjoying them at places like Disney's and looking them is the best way to enjoy them because parrots in the hospital can be quite the challenge. They are super loud, very messy, and they can live for several decades, making them a lifelong commitment. So definitely keep your houses nice and quiet and clean and enjoy them at places like this. And speaking of enjoying them, come on over if you're just walking by. The best part is yet to come. Slide on in here and check out these three birds. Ginger, Stitch, and Robinson. They are three beautiful in macaws. And they're really cute. They're actually a critically endangered species. And several parrot species in the wild are facing challenges like deforestation, which leads to habitat loss, and the illegal pet trade is a pretty big problem for parrots around the world. But it's not all bad news. The great news is people started to notice that parrots need our help in the wild and they started to do something about it. The World Parrot Trust is an awesome organization that we've partnered with and they're doing great work cleaning the birds where we guys, just like these three in hopes that they'll be released into the forest of Bolivia. We have that small population of 300 so we can see birds like these in skies like this.
bridge, eh? Go over there. about to get some brunch <laughs> it's not breakfast it's not lunch it's brunch because we didn't eat before we left and we're gonna sit here by the water so if they do a show anytime soon we'll be able to catch it hey y'all see that thing right there <laughs> see that <laughs> see that right there that's what they put me on and what made my head hurt and what, what, what scared me to death, y'all? They put me on that ride right there. That's the one I was talking about. The Expedition Mount Everest. Right there, y'all. Me and J-Baby going back home. Yeah, J-Baby going back on. But we're going to sit here. I'm going to let y'all see. And we're going to sit right here and eat. We got a little birdie friend right there. Looking for some food. But we're gonna sit here and eat right by the water. Yeah, the reels look big. I don't know if they're gonna be that good. Come a bird coming in, y'all. Look. Woo! Lay up in the tree, huh? This is where I got my um my little my little champagne drink. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, those drinks. Remember those? Yeah, um, the ice cream thing. No, the novelty thing. No, not the, 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 Cause I was thinking about the two drinks. Y'all had a drink that was different colors and had some uh -huh. little balls yeah. in. That's over there by. Yeah. That's over there by Nada. Okay, and then we went, another place we had the ice cream. They had the champagne glass. That's what I was with talking the ice about. Cream. Magic that was Magic Kingdom, baby. I'm so upset. Yeah. Yeah, that was Magic. We, you can get it Saturday. We were Magic Kingdom Saturday, and we'll be in Magic Kingdom on Monday. So you got two times to get it. But we're just waiting for our pickup time now for our food and Jay pick up time. Jay getting something from a different restaurant but she gonna bring it over here and eat by the water with oh, us. Y'all yeah. no, sorry. I kinda not forgot to show y'all the food. Once I got the food it was so good. But we had the roasted half chicken. It's a half of smoked roasted chicken. It's smoked and it's the breast and wing leg and thigh. So we just ordered one meal because it's a lot of chicken and we just cut it in half and split it. He took the white meat, I took the dark meat. He had onion rings and coleslaw and cornbread. Um, just the remnants of it. <laughs> That's the um, chicken, onion rings, coleslaw, cornbread. The remnants of it. And look, baby J coming up with her food. She didn't want what we were having. Baby J, she went and got herself a pizza with a salad. And a little drink. Turn that drink around sideways so we can see it. Yeah. It's got a little glowy thing in there. A little glowy thing. Oh, wow. Oh, there it go. Yep. 
What are you tasting it? It's mostly pineapple and Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> that and sums it, it up. Allegedly, it has a splash of Sprite in there, but I don't taste it. It's just more like Gatorade and pineapple. Okay. I just got it because it was pretty. She just got it because it was pretty. But that's her meal. And I done about ate mine up. See? And the husband working on his over there, too. But it's all delicious, y'all. that destroyed most life forms on Earth, our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission. comes from humans highly poached for their horns those horns though they're made of keratin that's actually we have horns that slope backwards from their head allows them to move swiftly through the trees and bushes without becoming entangled on branches the now these hippos they are not floating there nor swimming they're standing on shallow parts of the riverbed they actually can't swim or float they don't have a buoyancy they're very dense they sink to the river in like bottoms they use their front legs to move themselves along, their back legs to...
Uh, we have now Crocodile to the left. The regional average around 16 feet long, fully grown, weighing around 500 to 750 pounds on average. Now they're also called painted dogs for their splotchy colored coat. Now they make kind of, hi friends, please don't call out to them. Now they may kind of look like your average house dog. They're cute, kind of collie looking, but they are the number one hunter of mammals in Africa. Say, I don't know, what do we think of? Lions. Lions, they only have about a 30%. Over to the left, to the tree line, those brown antelopes are sable antelopes. They're the emblem here of the Haram fully grown, averaging around six foot at birth. Spending the majority of their day eating, only around 30 minutes each day is spent sleeping. They don't even sleep all at one time. They take short naps throughout their day. Over to the right hand side, uh, we have a beautiful smile and play like we do. But if you see mandrels smile at humans or other animals, it's a sign of aggression. So we're actually gonna keep up. About a year and a half of their diet and fine shrimp to turn that light pink color. Now the pigmentation is coming from the uh, beta carotene that's in the brine shrimp and the other crustaceans that they eat. Now there is an elephant way in the distance on the left hand side behind all those tall green grass. So hopefully as we kind of make our way around, you might get a better peek at her. Lions, mainly nocturnal. They'll spend 16 to 20 hours each day inactive. Sleeping, resting, relaxing. During the day, they have 20-20 vision like here on the reserve are female. Uh, they have gray feathers. Males have very dark black feathers. Over to the right hand side, laying down towards the Oh okay, I see. Him. Markets. I truly hope that you enjoyed your safari out here with me today. It was absolutely my pleasure having you here on the back of my truck. We officially ended our day at the park. We're officially done with Animal Business, Animal Kingdom. Now we're at Golden Corral getting something to eat. Yeah, I just threw some everything on my plate because I ain't trying to go back up there. So I just put it all up there one time. What I eat, what I eat, what I don't want to do. So guys, I want to thank you all for spending the day with us at um, Disney's um, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, it's free. Make a comment, guys. Share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Join the Family. We'll be more than happy to have you. And as always, give thanks, be blessed. Love you to life. See you on our next video. Bye.